What's up guys, it's your girl and I'm back with another video. <laughs> Yo, my son's always trying to figure out where I'm at, what I'm doing, who I'm with. But yeah, what's up guys? So, <clears throat> I was sick this weekend, okay? And I'm at the last stage and I'm recovering very well. Let me tell y'all. So, me and my sister gets off work. When was this Thursday, I think? And it's raining. It's been raining like all week. Like, I don't know if it was the whole Ohio or just the city, but it was raining from like Monday and even the past week all the way to like Friday. Like, Saturday was pretty okay. And today's is a little sunny, but it's not raining. But we, it was raining, okay? And I had no umbrella. I had on a raincoat, but I had this tall bun in my head, so I couldn't put my head on. I did not wear my scarf to work like I normally do my neck scarf, you know, to cover my neck up. So I'm just exposed out here. I definitely had to pay the price. Um, but this whole weekend, we've been drugged up, y'all. We've been taking medicine, eating soup, drinking tea. We've been bundled up under the heat. We've been in the house making sure we don't go anywhere. We've been spitting and we've been sneezing and coughing and, and getting all that stuff out of our system. And I'm not sure how my sister feels, but I know that I feel better than I <clears throat> than I did. Where have I been? Like, what have I been doing? What are you doing? And today I'm going to just let you guys know what's been going on. A little brief summary, you know, just to get you guys caught up on my life. Um, I'm still sucking at vlogging. I'm still sucking in that area, in that department. I do plan on vlogging today. This has got to be a joke. I don't know what am, what am I doing? Like, find myself asking myself, like, what are you doing? Like, I'm out of school, if you guys did not know. Taking a break. Not sure if I'm gonna go back yet, but I'm taking a break because already, it's a little hard to find a job a full-time job and I'm just not the type of person that likes to be in debt if I do something I need to be paid off I need to I, I need to get a head start so my plan <coughs> as far as school <coughs> my plan as far as school is I need to pay off this first degree of student loans before I go and triple it if you know what I mean you know my school and everyone seems like they have my best interests but nobody's sliding me a check I told myself I was going to college when I was in home when I was homeschooling and I was working and I was doing all this stuff in high school um, and already being a teen mom and a single parent I told myself to do a lot of things it was not my mother in my ear or my sister in my ear they've always been in my corner they've always been supportive and they always had their own you know judgment or outlook on things but it was always me who put that foot forward and did what I need to do for myself and for my son so um, you know that's what a lot of people don't understand so like when I decided to go to college it was because I wanted to go to college I wanted to further my education after high school and I wanted to do something better with myself now like a lot of my like you know advisors and stuff they're really like on my case but it's just like no one's going to pay for that like no one's going to you know so it's just the point of me taking my time I'm about to be 22 years old this month woo woo I have time on my hands and I need to spend that time wisely and strategically okay because I have time on my hands, but I don't know how much time. And not to get all weird on you guys, <laughs> talking about death and stuff, but I'm just saying, you know, it is crazy in this world, and especially as a black person and a woman, it is just not the easiest thing to do, like to live day by day. That's what's going on with school. I will be walking the stage in June. Um, I wanted to go back to school this winter, but I thought I would have a head start on paying off my current loans um, which is pretty high but I feel like if I work hard enough I can pay them off so that's why I'm not looking forward to 
tripling or doubling my student loans and then being in debt. And I want to pay for my son to go to college, so I'm trying to make sure my slate is clean by the time he's 18. And yes, I have 13 lovely years until that time come. But you know, I like to be, I like to plan ahead. So that's what's going on in school. I did graduate. Um, I did get a great GPA. I'll update you guys on my, like, I'll do like a graduation video, you know, me walking the stage, all that stuff. Let you guys know what's going on, okay? Um, my whole college experience. I will let you guys know, okay? That's about it. But um, I would definitely say do everything you want to do. Do it on your time, your watch. Allow yourself to be um, influenced and, you know, just allow yourself to be you. Don't let nobody rush you into doing anything or to doing anything at all. You know, I just want you guys to know my supporters, my viewers, to do what you guys want to do, you have one life, and whoever's telling you how to live your life, they're living their life, and they have their chance to make the choices that they want to make, and they cannot bat, like put that on you. So that's all I gotta say. Done. Has a new job. Actually, back at a place I've been working, and I was supposed to be working at Target too, but I'm no longer interested in Target, so won't be there. I was sick this weekend. I've been looking for a job. I've been editing videos. I've been attempting to put videos out, but I've been lacking very hard at that. I've been going through these silly holidays that I wish they would just cancel sometimes, like Halloween for my son's school, and buy his costume, and buy his class snacks, and then I already gotta buy his class snacks every single month, and I also have to bring a sanitizer wipes, and sanitizer, and soap, and everything just so they can have it in stock um, because they do need stuff like that in the schools and parents are supposed to help and I don't mind helping but that's just adding more to like my work hours so I've been attempting to put hours in um, I've been trying to work events at my current job and stuff like that <sighs> I don't think I'm going to do anything for my 22nd birthday um, and that's totally fine. I'll probably be at work because my birthday lands on Black Friday literally all weekend. And I have to do what I got to do. And I just cannot wait until February comes. You know what? At this point, I can't wait until July comes because there's nothing in July. And uh, that's basically about it. That's everything that's been going on really and honestly. Um, I've been looking for a place. But the thing about me looking for a place is I have to look for a three bedroom and it's just like three bedrooms are hard to come by in 2018, especially in the area that I want to live in. I'm not trying to do too much uh, geographic changes, <laughs> a whole lot, a whole lot of adulting and I cannot wait till the day I can just sit back and relax and chill. I've been, I've been doing so much ever since I was born, literally been through so much and I've been doing so much and I just cannot wait to the day where things slow down in a good way for me and my family and I can just chill poolside okay I'm so over drama I'm so over everything it doesn't make any sense next topic is what's going on with YouTube am I still doing YouTube obviously I'm still doing YouTube because I'm posting this video and a few more videos so I'm still attempting to do YouTube um, I haven't been inspired and since YouTube is still a hobby for me and not a job I have to be inspired I can't just put out anything because I'm looking forward to a check um, I have to put I, I only can post when I'm inspired or when I have something that I want to talk about or I have something that I want to do I can't just post just because I need to get views. I, I'm not posting for that reason though. Of course I've been a little off with posting, but I did a pretty good job this past week. I posted about two videos uh, in one day, which was really good. And I'm trying to do more, but I just don't want to post crap ass stuff. Oh, I'm still in the works trying to figure this out. It's my Instagram. So this past week, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but I went down about 3,000 followers. And the, 
reason that is is because first of all i'm not sure if you guys experienced this but i have a lot of a ton of spam pages following me but especially when i get a large amount of followers a lot of them sometimes include a ton of spam pages and i'm not interested and i get a bunch of hair pages that want to follow me a bunch of sunglass pages a bunch of instagram pages a bunch of fan pages and i don't mind the fan pages other people's fan pages like if i follow cardi b like 18 cardi b fan pages pops up in my following i didn't perhaps tell instagram like oh please get these uh fan pages off of my case but i did ask instagram to go ahead and um help me with removing like these spam pages if i asked if it was possible for them to you know help me do a nice clean up and we're still in the works of cleaning everything up and um i've been trying to figure this out since i want to say august i've been trying to figure this out because i've been noticing the amount of followers and i've been noticing like the quickness of it and i've also been noticing like it, every a lot of things is not matching up like i'm like okay you got 2,000 followers but say i post a video and it's just like not doing as well as it could be and i'm just like okay at this point a lot of these are spam pages and i'm not interested in spam pages following me so i hit instagram up and they helped me willingly and like i said we're still going through the process of cleaning my page up and just getting it back i like i told them i don't care if i go all the way down to like a one digit following all i know is that i don't want 50%, 30%, or even 25% of my followers to be spam pages. Okay, I can deal with a small 5% maybe as spam pages, unless we want to get down to the nitty gritty. I would happily get down to the nitty gritty, but you can't never really determine if a spam page is going to follow you again. So, we're still in the works with that, so I've been trying to figure that out, emailing back and forth and chatting with Instagram. I'm really happy that Instagram is helpful and they're not as bad as I thought. <laughs> Instagram actually does do, they have a job besides just providing a platform. They actually do help you and look out when certain things happen. And I really do appreciate that. So I just want to get you guys up to date on a few things that's going on. Um, I hope that this sheds some light to you guys. Um, I mean, there's not much that I can really say. I mean, I'm just living my life, single parenting, growing, becoming more of an adult, just learning a lot, um, low-key lost in the sauce. But well, I'm really trying to explore creativity and topics and stuff like that, like what should I do? So if you guys have any ideas, please comment down below, DM me, you can tweet me, you can comment on my pictures, do whatever you need to, but please share some like, please share some, share some inspiration with your girl because I definitely could use it. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. As I said before, I hope it sheds some light on where I've been, like why have I not been on, you know, I haven't been doing anything, like I haven't been on my social media pages, I haven't been on my personal page here and there, and that's why I was like, this is so weird. Like. I'm never just on my personal page. Let me tell y'all, I would go days and days and days without checking my personal page. And now, it was honestly like I was going days and days without checking my business page, my business Instagram. And I'm like, this is not right. I need to do some understanding, some cleaning, and I need to figure out what I want to do. And, you know, if I figure out what I'm going to do, best believe I'll let you guys know. I'll make a video and let you know that I just changed my whole life around and I know what I'm doing. But until then... Hope you guys stay with me and support me and thank you for watching this video and I'll watch yeah see you guys in the next video